finally, it's time to put on my Akrapovich carbon fiber full racing exhaust and flash tune the ECU on my 2022 Yamaha MT-07. Look at this, this thing rips. Let's go for a ride. Today. First off, links to my new Akrapovich exhaust and DinoJet ECU flasher and all of my gear, which is awesome. I have links to in the description and comment section of this video. Let's go ahead and unbox the Akrapovich exhaust. Okay, this is what you get after you unpack everything. Check the bracket, header pipe, um, and it even comes with copper paste. Comes with the springs, everything. Look at this, nice. Check that out, carbon fiber. Looks real good. Tell you one reason, another reason why you wanna go with the Akrapovich exhaust is that it has the S-bin in the pipe, which creates some back pressure. From the research I've done, this gives you the best added performance, even compared to the titanium Akrapovich exhaust. And that one has a very difficult baffle to remove, as where this one is much easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and weigh it, and then when I take the stock exhaust off, I'm gonna weigh the stock exhaust, and we'll see how much weight I'll save. Okay, first off, I'll weigh the box. The box is, looks like it's about one pound, five ounces. So we'll go ahead and put stuff in here. Nine pounds, 15 ounces. And that's including the box. Now when I put the stock exhaust in, I'll put the stock exhaust in this box too. Let's go ahead and install this exhaust. The first step is to go ahead and remove these two bolts with the five millimeter uh, hex key here. The next step is to remove the swing arm nut here and these two Allen bolts. This is a 22 millimeter and these are eight millimeters. <clears throat> now we're going to remove this. We're gonna take a bungee cord and attach it to here and hold this up so it holds it up. Okay. And next we're gonna remove these two 10 millimeter bolts here. Okay, on the other side of the bike, we have to remove just this bolt here. Okay, here we go. Next step is to remove the O2 sensor with the 17 millimeter wrench. Okay, here we go. Okay, now to remove the header bolts. Okay, and here are the four header nuts that I removed. Now to go ahead and remove this stock exhaust. Ah, there you go. The stock exhaust in the box weighs 19 pounds, four ounces. So putting on an Akrapovich exhaust fender eliminator kit and replacing the stock mirrors with bar and mirror saves a total of about 12 pounds, 14 ounces. So that reduces the bike from 406 pounds stock down to about 393 pounds. Nice. Now the instructions recommend to pick up some new gaskets there, but this bike is only has what like a little over 100 miles on it. So I mean these gaskets are still like new. So I'm not going to replace those gaskets. Okay, next step is to go ahead and install the new header pipes. Do not fully tighten the nuts. That will be the last step. Next step, where the O2 sensor goes, you need to install this adapter with the Kush washer on there. And this is 22 millimeters. And you wanna tighten that to 29 pounds feet of torque. Next step is to install some anti-seize lubricant stuff just put that on the threads of the o2 sensor so it doesn't you don't have to worry about that ever seizing this o2 sensor wire is like on a hook here so just make sure to take that off the hook then we're going to go ahead and tighten it with this 17 millimeter wrench as you can see here you can't rehang the wire up on the hook there See there, and you don't want to leave this flopping around. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and take a zip tie and attach it to the hook and the wire. Yeah, that works real nice. Next step, go ahead and hang the bracket on here. 
Then go ahead and put the peg assembly back in place like it was before. Okay, and you put everything, put the bolts back. Make sure you put the washer back with the nut here. You're gonna tighten it 65 pound, foot pounds of torque for the nut and 25 foot pounds of torque for the two bolts down here. Now we take this piece of the pipe, put this on, and you want to put this on this way here. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and put the pipe on. Go ahead and put the bowl up here. Okay, then you put the springs on. It really pays to probably have a hook tool, which I don't have. Um, I have to use some needle nose. Here we go. Got that on. Ah, got it. Tell you guys, get the hook tool. It's much easier. <laughs> Go around the other side here and tighten that bolt there to 16 pounds feet of torque. Okay, got that done. Okay, next step, the bracket onto the exhaust. Like that. Go ahead and put this on the pipe. Make sure you don't put this bracket in between the metal bracket because if you do, you're not going to have any space to tighten the nut in the back. And then we go ahead and put the springs on. And you got the two washers and the bolt and the nut and, and you put this on this bracket here and we'll tighten it to 16 pounds feet of torque. There you go. Okay, now go ahead and tighten the header bolts to 16 foot pounds of torque and alternate when you're tightening it. So don't just do one 16 and then go to the next one and do 16. Do a little bit of tight and air, a little tight and air, a little tight and air on each and alternate until you hit 16 foot-pounds of torque. And then you just put this cover back on. Tighten it to 16 pounds feet of torque. Make sure to take a clean rag and clean the header pipes and the can really good because if there's any fingerprints or oils on it, it'll burn on the pipe and leave marks on there. Although I already removed the stock snorkel off the air box and did an ECU tune with the PowerVision 3, I'm going to save that for a future build video so I can go into it in more detail with you so you can avoid some mistakes that I made. Uh, if you want to get this PowerVision 3, I have a link to it in the description and comment section of this video. I highly recommend you get this because that way you don't have to send your ECU off. And also you can always revert the ECU back to stock settings to avoid any warranty issues. And you can tune other bikes and also you can run engine diagnostics in clear codes. And it has Bluetooth on it. It's really awesome. All right, check it out. It's done. Man, doesn't that look proper carbon fiber? A Kropovich full racing exhaust looking a proper. By the way, I decided to not Cerakote the header pipes black. Let's get this bike out and see how it performs and sounds. <laughs> I mean, it's not a liter bike, but this thing is, is quicker than it was in stock form, man. Hey guys, make sure to stay tuned for the next Moto Vlog where I compare the stock performance versus the modded performance, and it's surprising. Look at that, kicking my feet out like I got me a Harley Davidson. <laughs> Riding around town, revving the throttle like a fool, like I'm on a Harley. 
looks like I'm gonna get me a Yamaha Davidson out here. <laughs> But anyways, guys, leave a comment below. Let's talk about it. That's why I do these videos to help incite community discussion. Make sure to hit thumbs up. Really helps my channel when you do. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit that little bell symbol so you get notified of my new videos. But I release new videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I got some more build videos coming. Some more fun with this bike. I got, but anyways, guys. Catch you guys later. I'm having fun on my MT-07. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. And check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto. Where I customize a van for my motorcycle. So I can live in my van with my motorcycle. And travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.